Y'all get ready. Yes, you get ready. This news in the streets. Join us and tune in for the tea. Breaking news with integrity. So sell your friends and your family. It's the lovely TV show. Bringing you good tea and good vibes. It's the lovely TV show. Be sure to share, like, and subscribe. Hey, tea sippers. I hope everybody's doing good today. So I want to come on here and do a slight update on the whole Jeremy Brown situation. He was the grown man who basically put hands on that woman and lost his life. So if you guys do not know, the other day, Carlisha Hood and her son, they were reunited. And this was such a beautiful video of her running to, you know, go embrace her 14-year-old son. So y'all go ahead and check this out. All right, so you guys just saw that video. Now, on top of that, she also recently did a video the other day where she spoke to the woman who had recorded the video of her, the one that basically helped her get off. And she just thanked the woman so much from the bottom of her heart. So I want you guys to go ahead and watch this video as well. In situation, if my son would pick me up, I look at it that God wanted me to be there because he knew I was going to do the job and he needed me to do it. This is oh my God. She going to make me cry on here. And I've already been looking crazy, balling my face up in tears. Rahima. You can't even imagine how thankful I am for you. You hear me? Me and my son. I really appreciate you. Okay? We could have still been in a fighting this. Coming out of 70, 80,000 for attorneys trying to figure it out. I thank God he used you. She, she's gone. I know you still hear me. The, the video gone. And she on there doing. All right. So you guys just saw her talking to the woman, Rahima. And I just think, you know. Looking at how all this played out, it was literally a battle between good and evil. You know, you had this evil young man starting mess with this woman for no reason. Um, then, you know, God places angels, I believe, to be in certain situations in certain times and spaces. And that woman was there to record that, you know, and she could have stopped when everything was going on because she was scared and ran off. But the fact that she stood there and kept filming is really what saved Carlisha and her son. So Rahima is definitely an angel in human form. Um, but now I want to talk about what is going on with Jeremy Brown. So his funeral was the other day. And um, his baby's mother, she's gone by the name Shade Shadu. And what was very interesting, because a lot of these pictures are going viral all over Twitter, Instagram, and TikTok. And so you see the woman who is his baby's mother wearing a T-shirt that calls her baby daddy, Jeremy Brown, the knockout king. A man who is on video viciously attacking a woman and she's now embracing that as something cool. He's the knockout king. So people started dragging her. Once these pictures and videos went viral, people started dragging her on social media, and she went off about the situation. So I'm going to go ahead and play you guys these videos of them in the T-shirt, them twerking. I mean, the whole situation is just a mess. And I'm also going to show y'all her response. Y'all go ahead and check this out. Hello, this motherfucker internet trolling because I put Knockout King on my motherfucking shirt. Bitch, he is the Knockout King of the motherfucking hunters, bitch. Before this motherfucking situation, y'all really dragging this motherfucking case. Y'all really just want to have something to talk about. Y'all really got too much time on y'all motherfucking hands. Y'all really getting on my motherfucking nerves. And we really laughing at y'all. Y'all really making us famous. And thank you for the 10,000 views. Like y'all ass going crazy. Yeah, y'all did y'all big one.
All right, so you guys just saw her videos, and you guys just saw the videos of them dancing, twerking. Here goes some pictures of them twerking on his big old cutout. I mean, it's just a mess. Now, another thing I've noticed, they're all online bragging about how he has certified hands. Somebody wrote this. I would do this, too, if it was my mama. Man, please shut the fuck up, because he would have knocked y'all soft ass out, too. Never needed a gun. Hashtag certified hands. Love, Toonky. Somebody else says, another thing, 95% of these ninjas that are posting jokes about JB, he done knocked y'all out y'all socks before with literally one punch. Y'all couldn't get up with him with no hands. Love, Toonky. Another person says, and stop acting like that ninja y'all sleeping with ain't never knocked y'all out. Love, Toonky. When I tell you this, there's something mentally wrong with this whole situation, now, again, of course, this man had family. He had people who loved him. Um, they're also denying that they started the GoFundMe. They have his casket with his big old picture on there with him with a bunch of money. I mean, just this is a hood funeral if I've ever seen one. So I get it. There's, there's people who loved Toonky, a.k.a. JB, a.k.a. Bagman. He had all these, you know, nicknames. But we just going to call him Jeremy Brown for this video. And I get it. They want to celebrate his life. But there's something disturbing. The fact that you would think that because the whole situation was unfortunate and the fact that he caused his own demise, there'd be a little bit of humbleness. You know, it's one thing to celebrate, but just the baby mama going off on people and thank you for the views. And I'm at 10,000 views. And she's looking at this as a way to get famous because nobody cares about her wearing see through shorts. She didn't she couldn't get fame off of twerking in the pool. So let me get fame off my dead baby daddy who was putting hands on a female stranger that he didn't know from a can of paint and was beating her mercilessly. And so now she's going to write this to try and get fame. You would think that this family would have just been humbled, buried him in a humble fashion and kept it moving. But now they're turning this into this whole circus and a lot of people are like really blasting them right now. I feel this way like I said in my live stream Carlisha and her son, they need to get up out of Chicago. I don't trust this family. The fact that this man had a straight hood reputation in the Wild Hunnets, let's keep it real, that's what everybody said caught back in the day. I don't know if y'all still call it the Wild Hunnets. But the fact that his name was big like that in that particular part of Chicago, and you have his family and you know loved ones and friends willing to do anything for clout, I could see them trying to easily retaliate. Because at the end of the day, he had people who cared about him. Regardless if he was a horrible human being, he had people who loved him and who seemed to, they're going to ride for him. So I really want Carlisha and her son to get up out of there, to get up out of that situation. And like I said in my live stream, the city needs to cover their relocation. The estate attorney general who put out the lies out there need to cover her relocation. They need to be put in witness protection program because I don't trust this family. Everything about that funeral was hood as hell, and I just get retaliation vibes. They're almost acting like he was killed due to gangbanging, or it was like some ops from the opposite team who took him out. Nobody's looking at the role that he played in his own demise, and it's just, it's really sad. Another thing I'm tired of is all these weird-ass thing pieces. Um, if you guys don't know, The Root recently did an article yesterday and it says, if bystanders had helped Carlisha Hood that day, maybe her son wouldn't have intervened. Based on the evidence, all murder charges against Hood and her son were dropped. I am confused about how this woman, Candace, and I don't know her from a can of paint, but she's a woman. Why do you have more smoke for the bystanders who did not know Carlisha Hood and who did not know, you know, JB, a.k.a. Bagman, Knockout King, who didn't know him from a can of paint? How do you expect bystanders to jump into a situation where a man is off the chain? The way he was talking, his demeanor, his disposition. People don't know if he was rap tight. They don't know if that man had a gun. He could have pulled out his own gun and shot multiple people in the restaurant. People are not going to put themselves at risk nowadays to help a stranger. 
you know, unfortunately, that's just the truth. And like I said before, you got to understand when you're going into these certain situations, the only person you really have is yourself who's going to have your back. If strangers jump in and help you, God bless them. But a lot of people are not going to jump into a volatile situation. So I'm really annoyed by all these thing pieces where the bystanders are getting more smoke than the man who started everything. What this article should say is if Jeremy Brown would have just waited in line like everybody else for his damn hot dog or hamburger, whatever he was there to order and waited patiently, he'd be here this week to spend time with his twins. If Jeremy Brown had kept his hands to himself, Carlisha's son would not have felt the need to intervene. So the fact that people are blaming bystanders is insane. Because these same bystanders were the ones who happened to record a video because the article goes on to say or people in the comments were going on to say that, you know, it's sad that people just want to pick up phones and record. Well, that same phone, that same recording helped to exonerate the mother and the son. So thank goodness Rahima was there to record. I don't expect anybody to jump into some type of mess like that. This man is willing to threaten and attack a woman that he does not know. What do you think he'll do to another man? The way he was so unhinged, he might shoot another man and not think twice. So most people are not going to jump into this situation. But I'm just really annoyed by all these think pieces that are putting the blame everywhere else but on this black man. He made his decisions. He kept screaming, I'm my grandmama. Well, he went to go see his grandmother sooner than he expected. And I feel no ways. This family should be ashamed that they acted the way that they did at this funeral, that they're calling him the knockout king and wearing knockout king t-shirts. There's nothing cute about domestic violence, let alone nothing cute about a stranger putting hands on a female stranger over waiting in line, over not having patience to get his food. So no, Jeremy made his decision. Jeremy put himself in that situation. It was not the bystanders. The son did what he thought he needed to do because at 14, kids don't think things all the way through. He just sees his mother being attacked. He has his mother's gun on him. And before this man kills my mom, I'm going to take him out. That is how that young boy was thinking. So for the bystanders to get all this blame, but there's no blame going on Jeremy, the man who started everything, is sad. We make way too many excuses for bad behavior in the community. Way too many excuses. And I'm also tired of people saying, well, if this was the police, people would be marching and this and that. Well, it wasn't the police who shot him. Jeremy put himself in that situation. There should be nobody marching, parading, and being upset on his behalf. He made his decision. He made his choices. And those were the consequences of his choices. But with that being said, I go back to my original comment. Carlisha and her son need to get up out of Chicago. Because everything I see at that funeral, I see a lot of people who are unhinged who don't care, they're looking for attention, they're feeling a way that Carlisha and her son are getting attention from Nicki Minaj and all these media outlets and bloggers. So now they're trying to find a way to come on in and get attention out this situation as well. And for some people, they'll take attention however they can get it, good or bad. So I really hope that she's planning on moving and I'm hoping that her lawyer is pressuring the city to get them to a safe location and to put them in some type of witness protection for the time being. That's the minimum that they owe her at this point in time. So anyways, I leave the question up to you guys. How do y'all feel about this whole situation? How do you guys feel about everything that was going on at the funeral? What do y'all feel about what the baby mama had to say about the situation? And last but not least, how do you guys feel about all these think pieces that are putting more blame on the bystanders? You know what I'm saying? Then where the blame should go, which is on Jeremy Brown. He made his decision and he got his wings unfortunately for him so go ahead leave a comment feel free to share the video i look forward to reading y'all's comments make sure you guys like the video as well and i will talk to y'all later deuces if you want the latest news in the streets join us sentiment for the tea breaking news with integrity so sell your friends and your family it's the lovely tv show bringing you good tea and good vibes it's the lovely tv show be sure to share like and subscribe